Hello everybody, my name is Gone of Donuts 18 and welcome back to another manga video. This time I'm going to be showing you my manga haul for the month of July 2019. Now I would like to apologise in advance for all this gaps that you see. I I actually recorded this uh, about a week or so beforehand, but seeing as things have worked out conveniently that I can record this haul, I've managed to take out my manga and actually show you my manga haul completely for this month and this month I've collected a total of 41 volumes much more than I was anticipating to get but there is a reason behind it and you will see fairly soon I would imagine uh, yeah I've had a lot of second hand shop finds or thrift shops or charity shops whatever you want to call it I've just been exceptionally lucky this month because and also I was on holiday or vacation whatever you call it in Blackpool which is in England and I was with there with my fiance and we had a great time and the day I'm recording this is actually the day I actually got back so yeah like like properly back to my house and I'm really happy that I had the opportunity because I did so much things and I got some manga along the way as well so yeah uh let's just jump right into it and also I want to thank everyone for liking my rainbow idea of manga spines for Pride Month, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. And also a special shout out to Ameski OJ for giving me a shout out in his community challenge where he basically shouted out manga tubers and I was one of them. And thank you so much for the kind words. It means a lot, Ameski OJ. So let's get straight into the video. First up is one of the very first manga I got from this particular place it's a general thrift shop charity shop whatever but uh, there's also a bookshop of it in Aberdeen it is Alice on Deadlines volume 1 by Shiro Ihara I got this from Oxfam UK I can't remember if I said that but yeah and they have a bookshop in uh, Aberdeen just outside the main high street or town centre or whatever you call it and yeah I am really happy to have this this is, would normally have been six pound which is very cheap for yen press back in the day because it is my yen press and yeah I got this for two pound fifty along with many other volumes that I got from and the thrift shops this and this month and yeah I am really really excited to get into this it's only a four volume series but the thing is it's going to be kind of difficult getting the other volumes because they are ridiculously out of print and I just hope I get them for a reasonable amount of, and continue it. And, uh, but yeah, if I do get, if I am lucky to get the other volumes, I will probably read it and enjoy it, hopefully, because it sounds pretty epic and the artwork looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is Alice on Deadlines, Volume 1 by Shiro Ihara. Next up is another manga I got from Oxfam UK. It is... Comic Party, Party Time, number one, an all-star jam by Japan's hottest up-and-coming artists. I also got this for £2.49, and there's many mangaka that basically contributed to it. I will actually show you a list there. Yep, there we go. And, yeah, it's pretty cool that I've got this. It's not as rare as I thought, because I thought, oh my god, this is pretty rare. I probably won't find any listings of it on eBay, but there's like a Comic Party manga released by Tokyo Pop and I kind of want to get it and there's obviously this one which I believe is like a, a sequel slash spin-off I don't know but this is by a new publisher in my collection it is CPM or Central Park Media Manga uh, so yeah I have a dread obviously but I am looking forward to getting into it when I can and that's Comic Party Party Time number one Okay, next up is my only Tokyo Pop manga for this month. Uh, as well, uh, well as Oxfam UK, there was another um, secondhand shop, charity shop, thrift shop, whatever you call it, that I got. Um, and these volumes in particular. So it's a mixture of that and also third party sellers from Amazon. And I'll show you. It is Model, volumes 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5 six and seven now this is a manhua which is a korean manga and book as you can tell because that's the front and yeah this is actually my very first manhua that i've actually got complete 
and during my holiday in Blackpool I have actually read the entire series and I am really happy I did because it's a complete set and it was a very good story all around. I really did like it. I'm not really one for vampire stories or romance stories but this was actually pretty decent and I really do en did enjoy reading it. Um, so volumes 1 to 4 and volume 6 I got in Cancer Research UK in one of my previous towns of residences and I got 5 and 7 for, yeah so those volumes were £1 each and then volume, volumes 5 and 7 I got from third party sellers on Amazon. Volume 7 came in a library cover like this yeah this library cover but I managed to take it off thankfully and also there's a bit of damage to the front as you can see there ripped page and there's also a tiny bit of a rip at the back but apart from that it, it was readable and it was really good and yeah I really did enjoy this manhua I didn't expect to like it but I did uh, but yeah this is by Lee So Young and that is that like I say it's a complete manhua and that's why I felt obliged to read it so that is Next up is another manga that I saw, it, well not another manga, a manga I saw in Waterstones and it was up there for Pride Month last month but I didn't realise it until the beginning of this month so I just impulsively bought it and I'm really happy I did because it is My Brother's Husband in these two books. It says Volumes 1 and 2 um, but it's actually Volumes 1 to 4 and this is also complete. I got this in Waterstones like I say and my fiance actually read the first one while we were on holiday and I'm really proud of him because he finished it within an hour which is pretty good and he said it was a bit weird reading back to front but he got used to it and he really did enjoy it. He didn't get a chance to read the second one sadly but that's okay there's plenty of time for him to read it and this is by Gengoro Tagame and I love this so much. It is a very good picture of like what um, homosexuality is like in Japan and also the aspect of like same-sex marriage and stuff like that and hopefully they would wisen up a bit and learn to accept it because obviously there's a lot of gay characters in manga especially from the ones I've read there's a lot of gay characters but um yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, I hope they get more recognition soon. And yeah, if you haven't checked this out, this is a very good represent a very good story and I would highly recommend everyone reads it. As long as you're comfortable with obviously this sort of story. I'm not gonna recommend it if you're homophobic obviously, but it's a very nice story regardless. And yeah. That is My Brother's Husband, Volumes 1 to 4, by Gengoro Tagame. Okay, next up is something I opened up. Well, I actually not opened up. I actually got um, in Waterstones, not in Aberdeen, the one in my previous home, of one of my previous residence, Towns of Residence, where I got Models, Volumes 1 to 4, Model, Volumes 1 to 4 and 6. It is My Hero Academia Volume 19 by Kohei Horikoshi. I'm really glad I'm back up to date on this series because I love the series so much. I, I, I've read this as well and this is just getting more and more interesting and yeah I am really really happy that this is still going strong in what it is. Um, but yeah I don't really need to explain My Hero Academia. It's one of the hottest anime out there. And maybe manga as well, I don't know, but if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please do. It is fantastic and I love this cover. I cannot wait to get volume 20 and show you the cover of that because if you haven't seen it, it is fantastic. If you uh, Go and check it out if you want to. There should be a preview image available on Amazon. Uh, so yeah, that is My Hero Academia volume 19 by Kohei Hori Koshi. Okay, next up is... a something that I got when I arrived back from Blackpool and I'm really happy I got this because it came on the day. I've not read it yet because I've seen as I came home today uh, I've literally not long unwrapped it and I 
will show you what it is. It is Platinum End, Volume 9 by Tsugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata, the same people that made Death Note. The glare is obviously affecting the picture there, but there you go. I still love these very shiny covers that they have, and yeah. I, uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out Platinum Man, if you like Death Note and if you like Bakuman, I do recommend that you do check this out. It is pretty good. A lot of people don't like it, but I personally do. I cannot express that enough. And I am super excited to see what carries on because seeing as I've just got this today as of recording, uh, I am just, I'm not ready obviously, but I am looking forward to getting into it. And that is... Platinum and Volume 9 by Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata. Next up is my Blackpool purchase of manga. I am really, really happy that I've actually got this because I got it in Waterstones in Blackpool and I'm really happy about it. It is Pokemon Adventures Volumes 4, 5, 6, whoops. Every single video, I mean seriously, Volume 6 and Volume 7 by Hidinori, Kusaka and Mato. Uh, yeah, for so long I've been wanting these volumes and finally Waterstones and Blackpool are delivered. They had five full shelves of manga and I was spoiled for choice but I said to myself I'm only going to spend £30 maximum and but when I saw this, I thought, okay, I'm getting this. Now I can read the first arc. You can't see it on on the camera, but on top of here, I have the first three volumes ready to be read. And now I've got volumes four to seven. It will make due for a great read. And then I'll just have to get into the next arc, because volumes one to seven of Pokemon Adventures covers Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow, the video game, I believe. And yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. And enjoy it hopefully. Uh, obviously the Pokemon games are very popular and I don't need to explain what it is but uh, I play Pokemon Go more or less every day. I didn't get a chance to play much of it but that's that. It is Pokemon Adventures by Hidenori Kusaka and Mato. Next up is Volume uh, and another few volumes that I've been waiting to get for ages, but I've not been able to do it uh, to continue it. But because of Oxfam UK, I managed to get them. It is Soul Eater, volume six, seven, and eight. I like I say got these in Oxfam UK, the same bookshop I got uh, Alice on Deadlines and Comic Party, and I'm really happy I'd found them because I just popped by the the book um, bookshop to see if they had anything new come in, and they did. Which they had volumes one to five, but as you can see here, I've already got them. Oops, and yeah, I've got volume six to eight now. The weird thing is though, volume six was £2.49 and volumes 7 and 8 were 2 99 each and I asked why is that the case and then it, the manager told me it's apparently because volumes 7 and 8 are rarer that's that doesn't seem right to me but regardless I got these for a bargain price and I'm really really happy that I managed to get them so I can continue the series I'm still way off from completing the series but I'm looking forward to getting back into it and that's by Atsushi Okubo, and that's Soul Eater Volumes 6, 7, and 8. Next up is a pre-order I got earlier this month, as well as Platinum and Volume 9. And I have read this, and it's one of my favourite children's manga. It is Splatoon Volume 6 by Sankichi Hinodeya. Like I say, this was a pre-order, so I got this on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I have read it, and it's really, really good. I'm really, really happy uh, that this is continuing. I mean, the main thing is ended and they're doing another thing. That's all I can say without spoiling it. And yeah, I'm really, really happy to you know, carry on with the series. Volume 7 will come out in October. So I'm looking look, looking forward to getting it and continuing it. And hopefully I'll give some more volumes for my nephew for either his birthday or Christmas, depending on what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited with that, and this is by Viz Media. And I, I should also mention that My Brother's Husband is by Blackfriars. 
and My Hero Academia, Platinum Ant, and Pokemon Adventures are by Viz Media, and Soul Eaters by Yen Press. And but yeah, if you want children's manga, I do highly recommend this. Uh, it is Splatoon Volume Six by Sankichi Hinodeya. And I should also mention, by the way, I forgot to mention this as a bit of a rant. Volume 9 of Platinum Man has a new Shonen Jump logo, and I do not like that. So last year they changed like the Viz Media logo, but you have to change the Shonen Jump logo. I think they probably just changed like the other Shonen Jump manga as well, or Shoujo Beat and stuff like that, but I am really not happy about that. That's just a little mini rant quickly, but apart from that I'm happy. Okay, next up is another manga I got in Oxfam UK, and I can't wait to get into this because I've heard quite very good things about this, especially like the anime, probably. So yeah, this is The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, volumes 1, 2, and 3. This is by Gaku Sugano, Nagaru Tanigawa, and Noizi Ito. I, like I say, I got these in Oxfam UK as well. Um, and yeah, I am really, really happy because it was just there on the bookshelf. This is what started like the impulse buy of so many volumes. But and you'll see what the other ones are in a short while. And yeah, I'm really, really happy to have this because I've heard so much about it, and I'm going to be finally reading it and hopefully enjoying it as well. So yeah, I don't know much about it, but I know it's very popular, and I. I just can't say anything else about it, apart from this is by Yen Press, and yeah, that's all I can really say to be honest with you. That's The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya by Gaku Zugano, Nagaru Tanigawa, and Noizi Ito. Next, my proudest purchase of this month, also from Oxfam UK, which I'm really really pleased about is a manga that I started reading about three years ago thanks to my friend Charlotte. Hi Charlotte! <laughs> but obviously I didn't, I, well not obviously you don't know, but I didn't really finish it in time but I've got my, some reading to do and I'm going to try and get the other volumes of this if I can. And this is one of my very few shoujo manga that I really do love. It is Vampire Knight. Volumes 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, sorry, ten, and eleven. This is not complete by no means. This is eight volumes shy of completion, but as far as I can remember, I believe I have read all 11 of these volumes that you can see here. Uh, and like I say, this is one of very few shoujo manga I actually do enjoy reading. And I am so happy to get this because like I say, I got this in Oxfam UK and it was also on like the shelf when I got the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. And one more title you'll see very soon that started off this impulsive buy and I'm really really happy that I have this because I've been dying to have it in my collection for so long and Charlotte my friend uh, who uh, introduced me to this manga has been basically nagging me to actually get this manga and she's actually happy that I've got this but alas it's not complete but I know I will enjoy rereading it because it's full of interesting things Um, it's by Viz Media as you can see there and you can probably see here as well. Um, and yeah, that is Vampire Knight Volumes 3 to 11 by Matsuri Hino. And the last manga of this month's haul is something I am really, really, really happy to own because I've been wanting to get this for so long and. Along with the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya and Vampire Knight, I this was another manga that I took off the shelf in Oxfam UK because it was readily ready there, already there, and ready to take into my bag and just 
take it home with me and oh, after I bought it of course I didn't just steal it <laughs> but here it is it is zombie powder bonus one two three and four now this is a complete series and if you don't know much about the series well I don't know much about the series myself but this is Tite Kubo's debut manga Tite Kubo of course being the creator of Bleach and yeah this is a complete series because it is just so you know it is by Viz Media as you can see there and at the end of volume 4 it says final volume and yeah I am super super happy I have got this I mean just seeing it standing on the bookshelf just made me so happy and I just wanted I just knew I wanted to get it but the reason why I saw all these mangas because I was just looking through the bookshop didn't find anything of interest and I saw the DVDs and then all of a sudden last place I looked manga and then Zombie Powder Vampire Night and the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya was obviously the first ones I grabbed and then I asked if there was any more and that's when I got um Alice on Deadlines and Comic Party and then I came back a few days later and got Soul Eater so yeah this has been an incredibly lucky month for me and yeah zombie powder probably on my very high on my TBR list because it's complete it is only four volumes long it is by TJ Kubo I mean okay yes I only like up to a certain point in Bleach but I'm super excited to read this and yeah it just looks awesome I can't I can't wait to see what surprises are going to come up in this because it's just this looks so interesting and hopefully I will enjoy it and that is it thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please comment and subscribe if you made it this far and maybe recommend some manga to me as long as I can get it of course because someone recommended that I get a certain manga I think it was Gintama and it's not complete in English apparently so I might not get that uh, but then again I probably have volumes like that well series in my collection that I that are like that but yeah I will take in any requests quite well, easily and if I can find them for a reasonable amount I will buy them and yeah please again like comment and subscribe to see more manga videos I want to do more manga videos but I want some ideas if you have any ideas for me to do then please recommend them to me and I'll see if I can do them and yeah thanks for watching and yeah I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye